Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, it'll be good just get all the way right this offseason, really train how I want to, play pickup. And, um, you know, next game is a game I'll be able to play. So I don't, I don't know, if, like, a percentage. I feel good, though. Um, I just didn't want to, um, towards the end of the season, do anything um, that would risk long-term health. I mean, obviously, like, as a competitor, as a player, and for me, like, I care about the people around me and the people that invested in me and, um, you know, trusted in me with the contract and everything. So to not play was really hard on me um, mentally, but even more just, like, because I felt like I was letting teammates down and, you know, the people that invested in me. But you can't think like that because at the end of the day, so many things can happen in your career that you are you don't have control over. So, um, I mean, the team – had a great season. Obviously, I wish I could have been a part of it. But like uh, going forward, um, I don't think the goal should be like to prove everybody right who invested in me. But that's definitely something that, you know, they invested in me. I want to invest back in the program and help the program any way I can going forward. Do you feel like you could have played in the past month? <clears throat> yeah, I, pro I mean, <sighs> I mean, I, I probably could have played like I could play on, I probably could play in one leg and stand in the corner and shoot threes. Would I have been in my best? Uh, probably, I definitely would not have been in my best. Um, and at that point, it's just, you know, long term, thinking long term versus short term. Um, and if I came back, would I really help the team at that point or did they kind of find a groove on their own? So it was all those things I was thinking about. Um, yeah, I don't but know if that answers. What part? I mean, it was just a decision based on the fact that I've been through this um, a few times now, the rehab process, the uh, coming back too early. I remember in Missouri, back in college, I got hurt. And then I had um, come back, tried to come back for the NCAA tournament at like 40 or 50% of myself. And um, I don't think that was the smartest thing looking back. So I tried to learn from that experience and uh, play the long-term game and just make sure that this is not something that I'll have to deal with again. I mean, you know, like those are things I like to say. You work as if it's up to you, and then you pray as if it's up to God. So for me, it's every day coming in here, doing what I need to do, taking care of my body every day. Um, but some things you just got to just leave up to the one who gave you the gifts. So for me, um, I believe, you know, my destiny is to be a great player in the league and uh, be healthy and all these things. But I got I to gotta do it the right way and um, leave the rest up to God. No, I never thought about that. I, I don't think I don't think that. And just you know, from March to the present, you know, you said about yourself. Uh yeah, I was, you know, I was me being competitive, I was I was just ramping up really quick. You know, I'd had that surgery probably two and a half, three months before that. I was feeling really good, just trying to ramp up and get myself back so quick. So every day I was playing pickup. And um yeah, I guess you could call it like a little setback that I had. Uh because I was aiming on coming back way prior to the playoffs. Um, and then I kind of had a little setback, which then kind of just made me feel like, okay, I don't want to do, I don't want what happened in Missouri to happen here, where I come back too early and something bigger happens again. So let's just take it easy and uh, wait till I'm perfect. Let's go back to the, to the, to the base and kind of re revamp biomechanics and the way I move and things like that. And, and figure out what needs to be figured out so that I don't deal with this in the future. Cause I kind of felt like everything I was doing up to that point was treating symptoms, you know what I mean? And I wanted to get to the core of what was going on so that I didn't have to deal with it in the future. Say it again. I mean, I think everybody knows, you know, how good this team can be. In my opinion, we could be the best team in the NBA when we have everybody healthy, but it's a long season and things happen, you know. The teams that 
are all the way healthy come playoff time are very lucky. Like the Warriors, they got very lucky at the right time because they didn't play together a whole lot leading up to that point. And then they got very, they got fully healthy, um, except for I think James Wiseman. So, I mean, the goal is to to be healthy. But I think when we are healthy, um, I think that we can be the best team in the NBA, and I think that we have championship in our future for sure. That's the goal. Yeah, I mean, I think um, you l you learn from your experience. So one of the reasons I didn't try to force it and come back late season is because I've been through this before, and I didn't want to repeat the same mistake and come back too early. And you know, so um, that's that's the biggest thing that I took away from the previous time that I had to go through rehab, that rehab process. And then just off the court, I think, I mean, just watching these dudes, um, seeing how guys' roles changed, um, seeing the confidence. Aaron Gordon gained over the season, you know, Monte Morris, um, you know, Bones coming in, kind of seeing how the team evolved without me and Jamal was was pretty cool to see. And then um, just kind of seeing the potential because when me and Jamal do come back, those things will all play a big role. You know, all these guys gaining confidence when we were out. So I think that'll be valuable. Yeah, I think that's another thing that um, could be a big positive one for me and Jamal got to go through this together. And we actually developed a bond and we, we became a lot better friends on and off the court just because we were going through the same thing. We had more stuff to talk about um, and we really got to know each other more. So going forward, I think that'll only benefit us on the court when we uh, get back out there together. Um, but yeah, so I think that that's another blessing in disguise. Did you learn anything about a, a better teammate. I mean, I try to be there as much as I could um, for my teammates. I think that, you know, when you're sitting out, sometimes you really wish you could be out there, but I think it's still important for your team to know that you're, you're invested and you're there. So as much as I could, you know, coupling with rehab, I tried to be there for the team and and I just kind of, you know, you you definitely see the, see it from a different perspective. Um, sitting on the bench, you see how, you know, different just body language and different things. You see different ways that um, things you do on the court could affect guys sitting on the bench. It could affect, you know, what guys are talking about on the bench. It could correlate to how they are on the court. You just see it from a different perspective because you hear and you see everything. You know what I mean? Um. I mean, just really just focusing on just getting all the way right so that, like I said, there's no issues. And now I get to take my time, take it day by day, and uh, just keep working so that um, come next season, I'm, I'm the player that, you know, I, I want to be, I envision myself, um, and the player that can help this team, you know, be, be at his best. So I'll go back home with my family for most of it, you know, and just stay super locked in in a, in a quiet place back home. And uh, just focus there. How much longer do you think it will take to get fully I mean, I'm in a pretty good spot right now, to be honest. But like I said, stuff that I could do right now is different than what I should be doing. So um, my my thought process right now is different than it was um, prior to. Like, I'm not trying to push through a lot of things right now. I'm trying to take it slow and uh, figure out what needs to be figured out and uh, go from there. Yeah, I think it was pretty obvious I wasn't in my best um, earlier this season when I was trying to play. Um, I kind of forget when I really realized. I mean, I realized that I wasn't in my best, but I thought it was something that would just kind of like go away. Um, and then what really made it noticeable was obviously that uh, game I think we were playing Houston when I tried to go up and my leg, like I just kind of jumped like I wanted to. And I realized, okay, yeah, there's definitely something wrong. So that's when... Uh, we had to go figure out what was wrong, fix it, and then take it from there. But um, I definitely was not feeling my best early on this season. Uh, 
I mean, I think the guys that, um, you know, keep having the same type of injuries and then you keep treating it, whether that be with surgery or, um, you know, different anti-inflammatory pills or whatever it may be, a lot of those treatments are, are treating a symptom, you know, and if you don't get to the core of what it is, you, it could, you're at risk for it happening again. So I didn't really realize that um, before until kind of the same kind of trend happened with me. But, like, everything is fixable, like, if you have the right people in your corner. So just kind of going back to how I load my body, you know, what parts of my body I'm using when I'm jumping or shooting even, like, all those little things can play a part in, like, what parts of your body you're putting pressure on. So, you know, I got good, really good dudes around me that are helping me figure that out so that it just kind of, like, um, I guess you could just say it offloads the, the parts of your body that would normally have stress and then, like, you know what I mean? That's kind of what biomechanics is. Nah, I mean, nah, like as long as my body is good and I'm, and I'm healthy, then I think that there's, there's no limit for me. So like I said, that's the reason I'm so, uh, towards the end of the season and going into the off season, I'm so, uh, just like trying to be very careful and very cognizant of how I treat this rehab process because for me it's all about just being healthy and then from there I think I I, I think I can um, take off from there um, and string a long time of being healthy together so that's the goal for me. You could play 2K. <laughs> <laughs> no, but besides, I mean, uh, um, I mean, I think it's just experience, honestly. And then look, why, you definitely should watch film. And then, um, and then, like, like Aaron grew a lot this this past season. I think that he kind of sees how dominant he can be getting downhill, being physical at the rim, but then like how much attention he can draw, especially when me and Jamal are out there, like. There won't be a lot of answers for, for him, because, you know, guys aren't helping off me or Jamal. So I think Aaron can kind of like I think he adapted his role really well for this season, and I think he can do that same thing going forward. But um, in the off season, I think it's just a lot of film work. It's tedious, and a lot of guys don't really like to do it. But I think film is a big part of cerebr getting better cerebrally. Yeah, I mean, I think one thing that makes them so great is those guys have played together for years and years. So it just they know how to play together, and just I really uh, thought that that was that was cool. How man, they've been doing this for so long, and they just when they all got back on the court together, it seemed like they didn't miss a beat. And then um, just seeing how you can't really rattle those guys, you know, if they miss a shot or they uh, make a turnover, it's like they're right back on defense, kind of forgetting the play before. And that's like what championship teams do, because I think a lot of young teams and things like that, they, they let their mistakes kind of, um, you know, go forward into the next plays. And I think that in the playoffs, just watching, we did that at times. You know, things would happen, we make turnovers, and then we don't get back on defense, and the next thing, you know, Clay Thompson's hitting a three. But I think they, they do a really good job just being mature about their mistakes. And um, that's one thing that I took from them, because when I'm not making shots sometimes, I can just – uh, you know, not play as hard on defense and not rebound the ball, but just seeing how those guys just are in the moment at all times is, I think, what makes them really, really good. What's well, so you think through some of those best moments for your teams, you had a heck of a deep one there. So what, what were some of the highlights? What stood out to you from those little pockets? I mean, man, we made the, I think we made the we made the playoffs without me and Jamal. Like, I don't think anybody, when we were out for the season, like, I think that people knew we could, but like the expectations were were definitely lower, and so the the way that those guys adopted new roles was awesome to see. And then I think Bones was a, definitely a bright spot for the team, just seeing how he's kind of evolved and got better over the year. You know, super exciting, good kid. And then um, there were just there were there were there were games where you just obviously Nicola, you know, having his his MVP year last year, and then I feel like he had a better year this year. 
that's obviously amazing to watch. And then, yeah, I mean, we had a, we won a lot of big games. So, and I think even that Warriors series, man, like the two, the first two games, we definitely got blown out. But then the third game, we gave ourselves a chance to win. We could have won that game. Game four, we did win. Game five, we could have won. So like, just seeing that we were able to compete with those guys, those world champions, like without me or Jamal, like it's 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 really encouraging for me. I mean, we, we would talk about it, but, uh, I mean, our message to each other was the same. Like, we're not rushing back because we see it as hard as it is in the moment. As hard, as much as we want to be there for you guys, we, we're trying to, like, see, like, down the line and what we could – we would mean to this team. And he just wasn't – he just wasn't ready. I don't know, physically or mentally. Like, he didn't – he just didn't feel like he wanted to be out there. So, I don't think it was right for anybody to try to push him – push him to that. You know what I mean? That's hard to come off the ACL and then – Go down, go into a series where you're down 0-2. Like, I don't think anybody's really trying to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, he probably was in the same boat as me. He probably could have played if he had to. Like, but it would not have been best for him. Yeah. Do you feel that you and Jamal were always on the same page with the organization in terms of relationship? Yeah, and the organization is amazing, man. Like, I haven't been a part of another program, so I don't know what other programs operate like. But like here. The way that they just gave us our, our space and our time and encouraged us and uh just didn't rush us, it was really dope. And then like I see like me and IT are real close and like you think of like his story and kind of what happened with him and you know, they shot him up with all these cortisone shots and he ca- tried to come back and play for the playoffs. And that that injury that he's dealing with, that he's dealt with this whole time is part and due to that. So like you look at those things and and how our our organization was, and how they didn't put any type of pressure on us, and it's just I think that we got a really special organization. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you talk a lot about you know you think about your relationship with Alex and things like that, but what does that actually have to mean to you? Like you did the basketball, the knowledge, the putting the team together, and now you got this great player that you just got. I mean, you definitely got to try to block it out. I mean, you guys, I'm not really on social media too much, but like. I just don't like I've I've just to me I just don't really let it get to me. I don't look at a lot of stuff. I don't hear a lot of stuff. Um and then I just have the people in my corner that encourage me. But it is tough. Like there are days where you're just really down and you just really want to be out there and it's hard going and sitting on the bench for every game when you can't be out there. So I'm not gonna act like it's not hard, but like time like stuff doesn't last, you know what I mean? There'll be good times in the future where I'm thriving. So in the bad times, I just try to learn as much as I can.